Hello, in this video we are going to learn how to use the sum if function in Excel. So we have prepared two separate examples we'll just cover now. In the first example, we have a table and we have products and categories of these products and the number of stock for each product. So for example, camera product has the electronics category, which is 19 stock, and in another row. We have also the GPS in electronics category, which is 31 in stock. In our another table, we want to see the number of stocks for each category, regardless of the product. So if we didn't know the sum if function, what we would do is just write sum function and select the electronics category one by one by pressing and holding the control key electronics electronics and so on but this is a bad idea because think it like if you have a very long list this will take a very long time so let's use some if function and see how it works some if function has three parameters the first parameter asks you which range you are going to use as a criteria so in our case category range is important for us I select this region and I also do not forget to fix it as an absolute reference because if I don't fix it, then I copy and paste my formulas, it will just slip down, change area. I don't want this. So I selected my range and as a second parameter, I am going to select my criteria. For this case, my criteria is this set. So I want it to be to change as I copy and paste my formulas. Electronics category is my criteria for this cell. And okay, third criteria, uh, third parameter is Excel asks you, okay, I understood your range, I understood your parameter, then tell me which column or which area should I sum up. So you can have stocks, you can have prices and so on. But in our case, we will just use stocks. And I also don't forget to fix this range. And okay, 431, and I just copy and paste my formulas, and it says it brings up the uh, total stocks for each category, regardless of the product. So let's make a manual check for furniture. It says uh, 78. So, for example, furniture here, um, beds 35, couches 8. Chairs and tables, and you see 78 furniture. So it seems like it's correct. Okay, in the second example, we are going to apply a similar logic the sum of boys' ages and sum of girls' ages. So we have a table here the names, the genders, and the ages. We are going to use a similar logic here. We are going to write our sum if function. So in this case, our range is genders, because we want to find the boys or girls. I fix my region, select my criteria. I cannot select my criteria because I'm going to write it. For this case, it is boy. And finally, the sum range is here. Fix it. Actually, I'm not just, I'm not going to copy and paste my formulas. I'm not going to. I'm not going to drag it down, so I just don't need to uh, fix my ranges, but um, as a best practice, it is good to use your ranges as relative references. So the number of uh, sum of boys' ages is 96, same logic for girls. Okay, I don't fix my um, region now. It should work okay. And some of girls is 88. Let's check our answer. And it seems like it's okay. Good. Thanks for watching. And in the next video, we are going to learn is functions in Excel. So keep following.